excuse me, Dr. Flowers. Good evening, everyone. Dr. Flowers, we know that you're sharing some great information, but we want to make sure that we can hear you, sir. My if bad. you would, please make sure you're not muted. There you go. Thank you so much. All Thank right, you. if you would start right, so over. We, start over. we welcome you tonight uh, to our virtual open house for potential new students at the Samuel Lewis Proctor School of Theology. I am Paul Flowers Sr., and I serve as an assistant dean and as a director of the doctorate ministry program here at the School of Theology. On behalf of our Dean, Dr. John Guns, our esteemed faculty and, and dedicated staff, I bring words of greetings. We are thrilled to have you join us today as you explore all that our seminary has to offer. During this virtual open house, you will have the opportunity to meet some of our faculty and staff, to interact with current students, and to learn more about our academic programs and resources. We believe here in a holistic approach to education where we combine rigorous academic study and practical experience in deep spiritual formation. Our goal is to prepare you not only intellectually, but also emotionally, spiritually, and practically to impact the Black church and the Black community. And so we understand that choosing a seminary is an important decision, and we want to ensure that you have all the information you need to make an informed choice. And that's why we designed this virtual open house to give you a glimpse into the vibrant community and transformative learning environment that awaits you at the School of Theology on the campus of Virginia Union. So on tonight, we invite you to engage with us throughout this event, ask questions, even envision yourself as a part of the seminary family and community. We believe that God has a unique plan and purpose for each and every one of you. And we're excited that we get an opportunity to potentially walk alongside you on this journey of discernment and preparation. Again, thank you for joining us tonight. We pray that this virtual open house will be a time of inspiration, connection, and discernment for you. And we look forward to getting to know each and every one of you better and exploring how we can help you fulfill your calling and ministry. Again, we welcome you and we invite you to enjoy this time with us tonight. Um, we now turn it over to Dr. Patricia Gulchamp, our queen mother, to lead us in prayer, followed by an introduction of our Dean, John Guns. Good evening. So glad to have all of you with us tonight. Let us pray together. Lord God, we thank you for this awesome, awesome day that you have provided for us. We thank you for all of the blessings that you have given already. And now, God, as we gather ourselves together, we ask for your guidance and your direction. We pray for every prospective student, all of those who seek God to know more about the Samuel DeWitt Proctor School of Theology. We pray for all that will be here tonight. We pray, Lord, that the things that will be shared, information, even the journey, even the concept of theological education that we will share. We ask God that you will provide the opportunities for those who are seeking opportunities for growth and development in their journey of ministry. Bless our faculty and those that those alums who will share tonight. And as always, we expect you to open up the things that you would have each of us to receive. Bless us together. And we thank you, God, in advance. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. And it is now my privilege and honor to introduce to you, to some and present to others, our esteemed Dean, um, in the person of Dr. John E. Guns, he is the pastor of the St. Paul's Church in Jacksonville. He is our 11th dean. He is a dynamic preacher. He is a visionary leader. And it is now my privilege to introduce him to this community and to those who are potential members of this community. He will come to us now and talk to us about the highlights um, of the institution's history, mission, and values. He will discuss the importance of um, seeking a secondary education. Um, of the STVU um, experience. Also, he will inspire and motivate you to pursue your dreams. And then he will share what is next coming up in our particular um, session tonight. So Dr. Guns, um, turn it over to you, sir. Welcome. And um, we'll let you have your way, sir. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Uh, Paul D. Flowers Sr. You were gonna say the whole name. And of course, Queen Mother, Thank you, Dr. Patricia Guchamp, one of our distinguished and honored faculty members, um, a graduate herself of the school of the Sandwich Proctor School of Theology. Uh, 
Hello, my name is John Guns. I am the Dean. As you see, I'm wearing my HBCU shirt tonight because I knew that there would be so much Virginia Union paraphernalia, Place the School of Theology. I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rep this today. Um, I'm actually very excited about this because I'm a two-time graduate of the Samuel Witt Proctor School of Theology, 1981, 1988 was when I started and 2009 with my doctor of ministry degree. In both cases, the School of Theology, the Samuel Witt Proctor School of Theology was profoundly necessary for my personal development, for my spiritual and emotional formation and for my sense of understanding my call. The call that has taken me all over the world, the call that has allowed me to serve as the pastor of the Union Bethel Baptist Church, and then as the director of youth and evangelism for the Baptist General Convention, and then the pastor of the St. Paul Church for the last 27 years, and the dean of Samuel Witt Proctor School of Theology for the last two years. What is very powerful about the School of Theology for me is that it is a place where I was taught to trust the unique experience that comes with being a, a, a man of African descent committed to a universal God who has revealed God's self first through Jesus Christ and then through each and every one of us in unique ways to do the work, especially the work that is done in the Black church. We are unashamedly committed to the Black church and the Black community here at the School of Theology. We take very seriously that work. Virginia Union since 1865 has been a place where people of color particularly have found their uniqueness through the educational process. Since 1865, Virginia Union University has sought to empower and impact. Uh, it began by helping freemen learn to read and to write in an ethical and religious environment. It has it, it, it evolved into being a place where people would study, study, yes, the Bible, but also study other, other disciplines. And now today we have four schools, School of Business, School of Education, School of Arts and Sciences, and the School of Theology. We, we, we provide a number of different uh, degree programs. But tonight, what you're interested in most is the School of Theology. We presently provide three, uh, uh, three uh, degree programs, Masters of Divinity, Masters of Art and Christian Education, and Doctor of Ministry degree. They will be shared in more detail later on. But I think the thing that I want you to grasp is the fact that the School of Theology is a place of formation. It's a place where persons discover. It's a place where persons are stretched. This, as Dr. Boykin Sandler said to me uh, in 1988, this is not Bible school. This is not Bible college. This is a fully accredited theological institution. It is the leading historic Black theological institution in America. It is the shaper of minds. It is the, it is the uh, preparer of, of, of gifts, but most importantly, it is the nurturer of the totality of a woman and a man who feels called to serve Jesus Christ and thus the church and the community. We firmly believe here at the School of Theology that we are unashamedly black, unashamedly Christian, but that we understand the importance of diversity and inclusion. We affirm and celebrate every person who walks into the doors of the Samuel Witt Proctor School of Theology. We firmly believe that we are a catalyst that is used to shape critical and conscientious faith thinkers. We firmly believe that we are committed to helping you understand your uniqueness in the service of ministry. We do so recognizing that we are people who came from another place, but through the middle passage, we find ourselves in this country living out the will of God, even as we have had to do so through oppressive and traumatizing conditions. And so tonight, we hope that you are inspired to join us. This two-year journey, Mace, this three-year journey, 
uh, M. Dev, or this three-year journey, D-Man, but also that you will come and bring your unique gifts to this place so we'll continue to be all we need to be. Thank you tonight for joining us. And we expect you when this is over to say, yes, School of Theology is where I will spend the next few years of my life in a place of being refined and nurtured. I close with this. A few years ago, when my mother, before my mother passed, we had a conversation and the conversation was, son, if I'm not here to see everything you become, know that we have done our best to prepare you for it. In that moment, I wasn't aware that she would be gone in less than three weeks. But I brought those words, to, I bring those words to this moment because here's the, here's the power of them. There are people in your life who may not see all that you will be, but because of your commitment to higher education, because of your desire to grow, you will be more than you can ever imagine. And the School of Theology is a part of that journey. God bless you. Uh, keep growing. And now I turn it over to one of our uh, amazing students, Robin Ware. Thank you, Dean. Listen, we are so excited to have you all on tonight. We're going to do something a little special tonight. Dean shared why it's so important for those of you interested to come back to school that you consider STVU. Well, I've got some current students that I want to introduce and share with you. Three things that you can be sure are going to happen when you become a student. You'll have a great academy experience. You'll have great relationships. And then, of course, great networking. It gives me great honor and pleasure to introduce my first classmate, Dr. Debbie Strickling Bullock. She is the daughter of Reverend J.A. Strickling and Ann Strickling, the youngest of 11 siblings. She holds a bachelor's degree in business administration from San Francisco State University, a master's degree, <clears throat> excuse me, in human resources management, and an earned doctorate in education from Wilmington University. Dr. Bullock is in pastor, she's a pastor, excuse me, the director of family ministries at Canaan Baptist Church, where her husband is the pastor. And she will complete the Master of Divinity degree in December of 23, of course, at the Samuel DeWitt Proctor School of Theology. Can we have Debbie join me on the screen? <coughs> Good stuff. Thank you, Dr. Debbie. Hello, everybody. Glad to have you on. If you would, share while being a student, while traveling as a flight attendant. We know you've already retired 30 years in one career, and now you're a flight attendant, but God said there's still more for you to do, and you are a student. So how's that been, traveling as a flight attendant, being in school? Oh, well, it's been really great. I uh, have the flexibility of being a flight attendant so I can big my schedule around my classes, or I can select my classes around my schedule. So um, being a student has really been uh, an invaluable experience for me, particularly um, after I acknowledged my calling to the ministry and everything. I had the, the yearning and the burning, so I needed to get the learning, and I wanted to make sure that I would uh, position myself to learn from the best. And so um while I travel and I do fly several hours a month as a flight attendant with American Airlines, I when I get on one of those long haul flights, I can get all my reading done. I can write my reflections. I can work on my group projects and then come to class all refreshed. I can connect with my classmates and my group mates uh, to make sure that we get all our assignments in on time. So it's been it's been a really good experience for me. Uh, I enjoy the uh, the transfer of wisdom and knowledge by the faculty. And that by far has been the greatest experience for me. We have some really good faculty members. And um, a, a lot of times, you know, there, there aren't things in the book that, um, you know, that are not as valuable as what, what's in their heart, mind, and soul. So I appreciate that experience as well. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Debbie. 
You're I have so appreciated meeting you again. One of the great connections that I have had being yeah. a student at STVU. Now let's get ready for Pastor Sanjanique Lee Guns. We are so excited. <clears throat> Excuse me. After 15 years in church leadership, she was licensed and ordained by Bishop Dr. John E. Guns in 2020. She presently serves as the lead for the Ladies of Destiny Women's Ministry. She serves as an associate pastor of fellowships while serving as executive assistant and strong intercessor to her husband and pastor. Her heartbeat is for the restoration of broken women. Her testimony of victim to victor has been a blessing to many. She's happily married to the love of her life, Bishop John E. Guns, and they're the proud parents of three beautiful daughters. If we can, please have Pastor Sanjanique Guns. Good evening. Good evening, Robin. Good. If you would, yes, please share your perspective as to how students can overcome, you know, any anxiety or thoughts they're having about can they really make it work uh, going to school while still maintaining their daily schedule. Absolutely, absolutely. Good evening to all of STBU family and those of you who are contemplating becoming family. Um, again, my name is Sanjani Guns. Um, I think for as uh, any trepidation or any fear about going back to school after 15 years, um, I, I made the best decision of my life. Um, I wanted to experience um, STVU. Uh, I attended Ellison Jones Convocation in 2021. Um, I wanted to see what this world of theology was all about. You know, I felt like, okay, there was something else out there for me. And after sitting and listening to these brilliant men and women of God, um, I knew this was a place for me. Um, there was some anxiety, a little, little fear, about going back to school and trying to balance life, um, husband, children, uh, church, and everything else that comes with life. But I want to say the one thing that dispelled that was sitting in that atmosphere and learning um, all the, the mysteries of, of the word and uh, the different levels of preaching. It just made sense to me. So I want to encourage those of you who are just starting or those of you who are um, thinking about starting, um, SCVU is the place for you. Um, the classes, you sitting in the classes with people who feel like family, it's just indescribable. It's almost like being at a family reunion every week. Um, the love that generates from class to class, the connections you make, the relationships, they are lifelong relationships. Um, sitting at the feet of these um, amazing scholars, they're going to impact your life. The professors are amazing. They're not just teaching, they're imparting, they're giving wisdom. And I just want to tell you that I want to encourage you that uh, you need to be honest with yourself and remove all the excuses and just know that it's time to jump in with both feet. Um, you want to be a better Christian. You want to be a better leader. You want to be a better person. So STVU is the place for you. So I yield the mic. Awesome. That was great. Thank you so much. Listen, we're going to keep it going. You know, every round goes higher and higher. Minister Bobby Charles Newell, a graduate of Virginia Uni Union University, where he majored in criminal justice and received honors as magna cum laude. He hails from Worldsboro, Queens, New York. Bobby previously served as the 86th Student Government Association President at Virginia Union, as well as serving as the second Vice President for Virginia Association of Chapters of Alpha Phi Alpha. Bobby currently is entering his senior year at the Samuel DeWitt Proctor School of Theology at Virginia Union University, where he's pursuing his Master of Divinity degree. He currently serves as the youth pastor at Cedar Street Baptist Church under the leadership of Dr. Anthony Chandler. At this time, I want you all to get ready for Minister Bobby Newell Jr. Hello there, sir. Hey, good evening, Ms. Robin. Good, good glad to have you yeah. on. If you would share glad about being a here. youth pastor. Oh, uh, it is one of the... It is one of the joys of my life, honestly. Um, I think for me personally, it's fun because uh, as I'm learning and as I'm learning in class, I'm also applying that to my ministry. Uh, STVU offers classes uh, 
they, they offer youth ministry classes. So as I'm growing my youth ministry and impacting the lives of the youth here in the city of Richmond, I'm also doing it from learning from my classes, um, from one of my professors like Dr. Joshua Mitchell, who served in youth ministry for some time. Um, he's helping me um, in the classroom and outside of the classroom. Um, balancing school and work, it is, it's fun, it's manageable, and your, class, your teachers understand, because uh, years ago, they sat where you sat. Um, I think so for me, being a youth minister and being in school full time, it is fun, and I enjoy it. I wouldn't change it for the world. And as I'm learning, my, my youth are learning with me as well. And that's the, that's the joy, that they're learning about Jesus um, in a different perspective, in a different light, and getting to know um, who Jesus is, who God is, what the Bible is, what ministry is. So that's it. I yield the rest of my time. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. I tell you, it has been pure joy uh, getting to know you. Well, lastly, we are excited to introduce Pastor Ray Rousen Jr. Now he is a graduate of STVU and I'm going to let him share what's next on his journey, but he is a husband, father, speaker, mentor, and media specialist with over 25 years of experience. Ray currently serves as the associate pastor of the Place of Change in Chesapeake, Virginia, under the leadership of his brother and senior pastor, Cedric D. Rousen, and he serves as the digital executive pastor of the St. Paul Church of Jacksonville, where Bishop John E. Guns is the senior pastor. Ray just completed his Master of Divinity degree in May 2023. And again, I'm going to let him share what's next in his journey. Robin, thank you so much. Good evening. Good evening. Glad to have you, Ray. I'm excited to be here. Uh, you talk about my next step and my next journey. I'm excited uh, because I had a unique opportunity to graduate in May, as you know, with my MDiv, and now I'm enrolled in the Doctor of Ministry program. Uh, for me, uh, this is how I would sum up my experience. Uh, Oprah Winfrey said, education is the key to life, it's the passport to freedom. And the reality of the matter is simply this, uh, and that is, is that uh, when you come to Virginia Union, uh, your mind gets free. Uh, I came to Virginia Union uh, and I thought I knew a little something about the Bible. I thought I knew a little something about scripture. But what amazed me was the opportunity to be and to meet such amazing professors who unlocked something in my mind. And so I went from just becoming a student uh, to understanding liberation theology and first becoming free myself. And then the lesson that I learned in my experience as I yield my time back to you, Robin, is Virginia Union doesn't just make you a scholar practitioner. It makes you an activist because you cannot uh, become immersed in what you learn. You cannot learn about the freedom that God has for you and not go back and empower others. So I, in my time, how I started education is the key to life. So the reality is wherever you are, keep unlocking new doors. There's always something you can learn. Become a forever student. So that's my journey. I love it. I'm excited to go into this process in the doctorate of ministry program, Robin. Thank you. So you're going right on to um, the doctoral program. So we're excited about that. Well, listen, I'm Elder Robin Ware and I am an entrepreneur. So my experience being an entrepreneur, you can still pursue your secondary education. And I'm so just godly blessed that I chose Virginia Union University. And listen, the next two ladies that are gonna come up are gonna share how someone like me, as well as you, can become a student at STVU. At this time, if we would, Ms. Kari Jackson and Dr. Carla Lightfoot. Hello, everyone. It's so great to see you all. I am here to speak on behalf of the application process and kind of talk briefly about all those things. We're going to have a, a breakout session on Zoom for, from all other departments. So from the grad admissions to financial aid to student accounts, they're going to talk to you in depth about what they do. But I am the first contact for most students. I help answer questions that you may have about our program, 
from the cost to how many classes you need to take and how many class, how many uh, days a week you have class. Um, so for me, the application process goes as follows. The first step that you want to do is you want to apply. You want to apply for um, whatever program, if it's the MDiv to the uh, MACE to the DMIN, you want to apply. And Dr. Um, or Mr. I may be speaking prophetically, but Mr. Oh. Stefan Ross is going to uh, uh, help uh, assist you in that process. Um, you're going to submit your paperwork uh, with your transcripts, your uh, re letters of recommendation, your um, personal statement. You're going to submit all that information. And once that information is put into the system, it will be reviewed. And if accepted, you will then um, come over to uh, the School of Theology where you will be processed from admissions to the registrar and the registration process. For our first year students, you are assigned classes. You are pre-registered for those classes. Now, what we have worked out is that if you are registered for a class that um, doesn't fit your schedule, we can make um, uh, alterations to your schedule um, just so that you know that we want to make this accommodating to to your work-life balance, right? So we don't want to overwhelm you with, with uh, classes that don't really fit into your schedule. We know that most of our students are uh, doing a whole bunch of things. It's meant they're doing ministry, they're working full-time, their parents, their uh, spouses. So they have a whole lot on their plate already. And so we want to make sure that you can get this process done um, with the help of the staff at Virginia Union uh, at STBU, as well as the professors who are accommodating to your to your schedules. So once you are registered, um, you will then get the orientation of how classes will flow and how classes um, how the systems flow. We um, work with Canvas. Um, for our uh, learning modalities. We also work with uh, the MyB portal. And so you'll get an overview of that. The major thing that we want you guys to work, um, to, to be aware of is financial aid and student accounts. All right, that's another major um, component to this process. So you wanna make sure that you, if you are receiving financial aid, if you are going for financial aid, you wanna make sure that you, um, complete that application once you have um, submitted your uh, school application. You want to go uh, go to FAFSA, complete that application. If you are paying out of pocket, you want to make sure that you contact and connect with uh, student accounts so that they can work out a payment plan for you so that you um, aren't uh, delayed in getting um, classes assigned or you're not delayed in getting books or anything like that. So that's a brief overview of the application to registration process. I'm so excited to meet you all. I hope to see all you guys in August. Good evening, STVU, current students, and those who will become a part of this great family. I say to you on this evening, I understand sometimes financial hardship. So there is an application for a scholarship. We have several scholarships and we want to make sure that you can make this journey a reality. We have um, the John W. Kinney Center for Transformative Theology and Embodied Faith Scholarships. We have endowed scholarships. We have several of those. And we have Dean Scholarship and the persons of Dean Guns. And for each of our scholarships, there is an application process. And so we ask that you would go on to our website and, and fill out the application. Along with the application, there are requirements that are there. You will need a copy of your transcript. Um, many of them ask for an essay. We do also ask for your resume. So if you would take an opportunity to go online to look for that, go on our website at vuu.edu, then look for STVU, then look for financial aid. There you should find the, the many scholarships that we have available. We wanna assist those who have a need uh, for assistance throughout this journey because we know this is something that you really want to do. Many of you have been putting it off, but we want to encourage you to come and be a part of STVU. Again, I welcome you on tonight. We are excited. I welcome you to the hollow grounds and DOO walls. Welcome to STVU. Thank you.
Okay. So, tell me. Aren't you ready? You are. I can tell. I can look in your eyes and I can tell you are ready. You are so ready. And I'm super excited that we get to invite you into the experience. And so you've heard about admissions, you've heard about scholarships, you've been inspired by current students, you've been in, challenged by our assistant dean and our director of our DMAN program. And now we're going to go back to Dr. Flowers, who will take us through the rest of tonight. But listen, here's what we want you to do. We, uh, uh, Mr. Ross has been dropping information in the chat. So tonight you need to go ahead and start the process. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't say, I, I need to go home and pray about it. Literally tonight you can start the process. So my encouragement is that don't wait. Start now because you want to be able to start in the fall. So Dr. Flowers, we turn it back over to you. Dean, we thank you, sir, so much for your leadership. And as always, we thank you for your inspiration. We're going to now transition over to Zoom. Um, I'm hearing that that will be dropped in the chat. The Zoom links will be dropped in the chat. Um, you will have an opportunity, as Minister Curry has already stated, um, just to hear from our admissions team, our financial aid and student accounts teams. Um, and also you have an opportunity to hear more about our specific programs, um, MDiv, MACE, as well as the Doctor of Ministry program. Um, and so if that is dropped in the chat, we will begin that transition, that migration over um, to, to Zoom. Um, again, the Dean will greet us and welcome us in that space. Um, and then I'll come back and, and take over from there. So has that been, Brother Ray, has that been dropped in the chat yet? Yes, sir. That information has been put in the chat as we speak, sir. Thank you. Yeah. It's under the private chat. Yep. So if you if you meet me over there, um, we will see you in about a minute or two. Thank you. <laughs> 